What's up, everybody? Welcome into season two of Bama versus the World, brought to you by the Herbert Rodge Podcast. I, as always, am your host, Big Mike. And if you're new to us, we we do it a little bit different. It's we preview every Bama game every week with a representative from the Alabama Crimson Tide, Mr. Bama. How are you doing today? I'm doing fantastically splendid on this beautiful Saturday morning. It's 10:48 a.m. here in this beautiful Arlington, Texas. Looking forward to a big slate of games today, uh, even though it is week one. Obviously, the big one being tonight, 6.30 when Alabama plays. Um, I, I'm sorry. I, they're, they're not really much of a competition, so I keep forgetting who we play tonight. But I know we play at 6.30. Thank you for asking, Mike. How are you doing? I, I'm doing great. And just to remind you, you Alabama is playing – Middle Tennessee State, the Blue Raiders out of Tennessee. Uh, we are joined by their representative. Uh, I don't see that he has a nickname, just the middle of Tennessee. I know they are the Blue Raiders, so I will call you Mr. Raider. Uh, okay. Mr. Raider, how are you doing today? Uh, you might get us sued by the NFL if you call me Mr. Raider, but uh, thank you. I, I'm, I'm happy to be here in the middle of, um, I guess technically, where is this? Tuscaloosa, um, Alabama. Wow. I don't think but anyone I, has ever heard of this. A lot of drunk people here, though. So that's been very exciting. Very exciting so far. So. Wow. Knowing the history, I did a little bit of research. Knowing the history of your school, you were actually developed as a school for teachers. So I would expect you to be able to pronounce <laughs> correctly. Um, I, I see I, somebody has taken sides already. So much for wow. an oh, for this show. No, I'm just saying, as, let's, as let's a keep this, school of teachers, you should be able to pronounce educational for obvious the reasons. Geography. So okay. it's like so anybody basic, in so they're basically Middle Tennessee is just a smaller version of Vanderbilt. It's just a good good school to go to get your GPA up. But as far as sports and athletics, they're just not quite there yet. Okay. Well, they're so on the way. At, um, least, at least we've had a quarterback all summer, unlike some teams. So, hey. How that I, I, I don't even know your quarterback's name. <laughs> yeah, so tell us about your quarterback. We'll start with you, Mr. Yeah. Raider. Yeah, we'll start with you, uh, Mr. Raider. Tell us about your team. Uh, what, how, what do you feel good about today in, in the opening game against Alabama? Well, this opening game against Alabama, traveling down here, honestly, the thing I feel um, most good about is uh, the payday that we will get from here. And, uh, you know, a lot of guys are going to get a lot of reps. We can pretty much throw guys out there. And, look, if you go out there and you score, great, you'll be a hero for the rest of your life. And if you mess up, I mean, it was Alabama. So this is, like, the least pressured environment that we will ever be in. So I'm looking I, forward to today. I Plus, really we have a, I have I a secret to... weapon too, so you know, might have to bring that out later. I hate to say this, but I, I kind of agree with everything he says. They're going to get a nice little paycheck from this, and it's just <laughs> for them, it'll be basically like a, a glorified scrimmage. So, okay, I, I can roll with that. I can, no pun you intended. Can roll with that. Oh, no okay. yeah. Yes. <laughs> and, and you did mention your quarterback situation. And, and again, I hate to teach the school for teachers, but your quarterback was a red shirt sophomore. Um, he only threw about 30 passes last year, so I don't know that you've had an established quarterback, like you said. Um, but more importantly, uh, we, we have the, known who our quarterback is, though, for the whole. Hey, year. don't don't and interrupt. Have you though? 30 about more than what your guy threw. <laughs> I, I may be about the same. Uh, yeah. Speaking of the quarterback situation in Alabama, as Mr. Blue Raider alluded to, uh, yep. Jalen Milrow was announced. He will be the yep. starter. Obviously, he won't be the only one playing. Yep. Uh, so, Mr. Bama, how do you feel about your our quarterback situation or your uh, quarterback I'm situation? Honestly, not surprised that they picked Milrow as the starting quarterback. He has the most experience out of the three, uh, out of, out of I'm sorry, Ty, Ty Simpson and Tyler Buckner. So, I'm, I'm okay with that. And keep in mind, we are playing middle – Tenant, Middle Tennessee, I wrote it down. Middle Tennessee State. So this is also going to be again a, a scrimmage for us. So we can kind of get all three of them warmed up. See, see you, see you, see who performs the best out of I'm this gonna game. Have to bust then, out, I'm going to have to bust out the secret weapon on this game. Hold on, hold on. Let's see. We're going to see who performs the best this week at this game, and then next week when we play Texas, we'll we'll have a, a certified starter. But to answer your question, I'm not surprised Milrow's starting. He's got the most experience, and he's got the legs. He's the most athletic. So let's just get let's just work on our passing. Okay, a big big day for the offense trying to yep. get get straightened out there in Alabama. Find out who the starting quarterback for the rest of the year. Obviously, you seem to think it will be Mr. Milrow. Um, and, and Blue Raider, you you mentioned a few times the secret weapon. Uh, can you confirm that the secret yeah. weapon is the actual University of Tennessee has let you borrow a few players? I got to no. see what the secret weapon. The is. secret weapon is Blue Raid. Blue Raiders, baby. We are coming for you guys. Now, it does say flying insect on here, but I feel it'll work, work on pachyderms as well. So, Blue Raid, coming right said at you, pachyderms. Buddy. Oh, my <laughs> you gosh. Guys, you guys are done for today. 
Well, I mean, it, it is apt that you have fly spray because it will look like the Alabama players are flying past you when they run. What um, happened to an impartial host? Like, who is this guy? That's Mike. What, Mike. what did you think was going to happen? You just brought in a king of raid. Look, for anybody that has watched this show last season, I am impartial in a lot of reasons, but I am an Alabama fan through and through. It's hard to be impartial. So yes. there's always kind of a, we'll say one and a half against one, not necessarily a full two, because I try to stay impartial until – until the guest tries to bring me into it and start talking about my team as well. Yeah. So when you, when you bring stuff in that, that I got to jump in as well. Uh, but so you know, when, we'll the, when the, when the guest talks about the team that they're playing against, you get to jump in. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's the host. He can do what he wants to. I, Okay, that's fine. It, yeah, that's Mike, why it's Mike Bama versus the world. It's right, 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 too right. As well, <laughs> it's, I'm part of Bama versus the world, so I, it, it's hard not to not to jump in every now and then. This is in that the raid, most ridiculous yeah, thing I've ever seen. <laughs> All right, skipping past the blue raid, the, the secret mm-hmm. weapon. We'll start with you, Mr. Blue Raider. What are your predictions for the game today? Uh, we're gonna kill all the pachyderms. <laughs> we're gonna kill all the packet. Oh, sorry. Um. We will make this competitive probably right up until the coin flip. Um, then the game might get away from us a little bit, and we will all get drunk tonight. So do oh. you think, with that being said, do you think you win the coin toss as a yes. moral victory of the game? We, we win the coin toss. Like, I, I am confident in winning the coin. We're sending out our best coin tossers. Okay, your your best coin tossers usually your captains. So, as an insider of the Blue Raiders, when you win the coin toss, that you think, do you think you will get beat by Alabama's offense first or Alabama's defense first? Oh, definitely Alabama's defense. What now, is think? that is that a slight saying that our offense isn't going to produce, or are you? Just... No, he's asking us if we're going to take the ball first or not. Uh, if you were paying any kind of attention, you would know that, Mister Bama. So, yes, we're going to take the ball first. Well, that being said, Mr. Bama, I will go to you. I know it's hard, <laughs> it's hard to, you know, I'm not a violent person. Wake up. I, I know it's hard to, to wake up and get excited about, you know, yep. Middle Tennessee State, but I'll, I'll try to keep you in the conversation as much as possible. Thank you. you don't sleep through the game. Uh, what are your predictions for the game? Uh, I, I figured this is going to be the first game where we really get to establish our def- our, our running game, I'm sorry, for the, for the year and, and pretty much set the precedent and the tone for the rest of the year. Well, obviously, we're going to pass because in order to, to – when we play tougher teams, a lot better than Middle Tennessee State, we're going to have to pass the ball and air it out to win some of those Nobody's games. Tougher than but I think we're going to be run dominant this game. I think Miro is going to start off, obviously. We, we found that out. And you're going to see Ty Simpson come in, then Tyler, and we'll just see what who you know what the best mixture is and who does the best, and that's going to be the starter for next week. Um, overall prediction for today – I don't think we're going to get around 50 points, but I'm thinking around, I think about 40, somewhere around 40 to like seven, or I say 40 to 10. 40 to 10 is my prediction. Oh, I think yeah, we're getting double digits points. Today, it's baby. the first we're game of the season. Today. It's the first game of the season, so I, I, I can give them that. Double digits. So, and double. to keep, I guess, keep the more competitive nature of, uh, of the show, do you agree or disagree with Mr. Blue Raider that they are willing to go to us? Because that's probably the best chance they, they have. win the coin toss. I'll give them that. I'll give them that little little partial thing of hope. So okay, they can win the coin there toss. There you go, Mr. Yeah. Blue Raider, getting excited about the coin toss victory. That's and the paycheck. So th- those are two things you do have. And to let me look forward to Mr. Blue Raider. Let me reiterate one thing, Mike. I, I just realized that the line was thirty nine. I don't know why I was thinking twenty nine. It's thirty nine, and by obviously if it's forty to ten, we can't cover. So I do think Alabama's going to cover. Um, so with this. that being said, I'm going to change my mind. This is very, very rare. I am going to change my mind as far as the scores. I'm going to say 50 to 10. 50 to 10. An official prediction of 50 to 10. Uh, Mr. Blue Raider, do you want to guess a score? Can you count that high? I mean, I, that's oh, 48 wow. to 10. Boom. 48 to, oh, so no God. cover. No cover. Beat the spread. Beat the spread. Where can we get that safety? Where can we get that safety? <laughs> so, there you have it. That's week one of Bama versus the world, Alabama versus Middle Tennessee State uh, this afternoon at 630 Central Time. Uh, I think I believe it's on the uh, SEC network. Tune yeah. in and, and be sure to tune in to us next week where we have a little bit tougher opponent. I think oh, yeah. announced earlier that game day is coming to Tuscaloosa next week to for the Texas down. Longhorns. 
Uh, we will be joined next week by a Texas Longhorn representative as well, just like we do every week on Bama versus the World. I appreciate your time. Thank you guys for joining us, and have a great day. All right, appreciate it, Mike. Roll Tide. Go Raid. Go Raid.